Hey YouTube, it's Prep for Life. Today we're going to talk a little bit about floorless TP accessories from Seek Outside, uh, what they can do for you, why you might consider getting those uh, for your loadout, uh, and what you can expect. So stick with me and we'll get into it. The more camping I do, the more I'm finding uh, what works for me and my family, uh, what doesn't, things like that. And, and I think a really, a really good piece of kit to add to these teepees is the liner. And that's what I've got right here. Uh, this is actually a, a half liner for the 12-man teepee. You kind of get a sense of the size just by my hands here. It's going to come bundled in this pack, and each half is just over... Um, just over a pound. I think you're looking at like a pound and a quarter. Um, so it definitely adds a little bit of weight there when you're talking about full coverage in a 12-man teepee. Now granted, by the time you're at 12, 12 man, um, you're probably not as worried about uh, counting the ounces, but you know, it certainly does add some weight. You know, one of the key uh, things that this does for you is for one, it's going to uh, retain heat in the, in the cold. Um, so it does provide a little bit of a dead air space uh, in between the single wall and the inside of the teepee. Uh, and it's also going to block some of that condensation in the morning from flicking at you and, you know, some morning breeze, uh, which, you know, tends to be a little bit annoying. And the downsides are obviously weight that we just talked about. And the other downside is that it's going to take away some of your interior space. We actually like to guy these teepees out just to create a little bit more usable space inside. The liner's going to take that up. You'll notice there's a little bit of a sag right there, and that's what happens, okay? So, again, eats up a little bit of your weight, eats up a little bit of your space. But if those two problems, in terms of heat and condensation, are issues for you, this thing is fantastic, and it's the way to go. It's a pretty cool product. I, I didn't look at it for a long time just because of the price. Obviously, these liners are not cheap, but it's uh, just a little bit of a, a ripstop nylon here. You can get a sense for that fabric there. Very, very thin. You can see my finger right through there. Very delicate, but you know, it does feel like it's going to hold up. It doesn't feel like it's just going to pull apart. You're going to get a half liner. Um, the tops are just simple tie outs. The bottoms are actually these tensioner devices. We'll kind of show a little bit of that. And it's also going to come with a bundle of this nylon cord. And this is what you're going to use with the tensioners <clears throat> on the bottom. Whereas the top of the, uh, of the liner is going to be simple tie-offs, just like this right here, okay? Now, when you put it in, you, you need to be, you know, a little bit crafty. I found the hard way that once you get the top layer in, tied in, you'll notice just it, you know, it's using the same loops as if you put in, for example, a, a dry, you know, um, a dry string. This is actually what I've put up some paracord in case I need to hang up something in the rain and, and dry out my clothes. It's using the same loops to actually tie in on the top side, okay? And then at the bottom, Seek actually puts in these cool little devices. And these things just use a little bit of a string and it's a tensioner. So if I pull on this, go ahead and pull on that string, bud. As I pull on that, oh, 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 pull that way, there you go. It actually tensions up and it lets you customize how taut this actually is. So you'll notice now that we've tensioned it, it took a little bit of the slack out. Um, the only problem is once you get a teepee set up, it is tough to get down there. So if you're setting up these tensioners after the teepee set up, that becomes a little bit of a problem. What I like to do is go through and basically set up the liner um, in a permanent fashion. You can actually put the teepee away into its stuff sack while the liner's in there. There's definitely room for that. So I kind of keep it in as a permanent fixture. Um, and for that, what I'll do is I'll sit and basically tie this in beforehand. As long as you keep things straight and in order, you're not gonna have a problem lining everything up. This is actually what you're seeing here. I tied in beforehand before actually pitching the teepee and it worked out great for me. So that's the liner. Again, I think it definitely has its uses. Even for the price, I think it is, it is worth it uh, to save up and actually purchase one of these. All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about the stove. 
So the stove by itself is actually pretty cool. But today I'm gonna to discuss a little bit about the accessory platform. Um, not only does it allow you to set stuff beside the stove, warm things up, like my gloves for example, when they're wet I can set them there. It'll dry those out. Um, but it also doubles as a snow platform. So you, if you are actually camping in deeper snow, uh, where, where the stove can sink down. The platform actually distributes the weight over the snow and it makes sure that it doesn't melt down in. Uh, so it's actually pretty handy. I'll, I'll post a link to one of my other videos where we used one. But as I open up, we're gonna go ahead and put the stove together like normal. Okay. The clean one here, that's our snow platform. Yeah slash utility shelves. It's amazing what this one little piece of metal can do for you. You're just gonna fit everything into the, into the tiny groove here. Everything slides together super easy. You kind of fit everything in. I'm gonna go ahead and lean this on its side. Pass this stuff through. Okay, now we have our stove box. Now when you order the accessory shelf, it's gonna come with the shelf itself and a new set of hardware, so they're actually gonna send you two shorter legs. You basically wanna decide which side of the stove you want your, your shelf to stick out on. Now, if I'm using this as a snow platform, I'm just gonna turn it upside down like this. I'll put the four legs in, like that. And then I'll use either my wing nuts or some flush hardware and I'll attach it just like this. And when you have this raging fire in the deep snow, it's not gonna melt the snow box down in uh, and, and, and lose the fire. Uh, so that's, that's what the snow platform is for. Believe me, if you're gonna do any kind of snow camping in this thing, aside from really shallow snow, this is what you want, okay? For our purposes, I'm gonna set it up as a side shelf, and I'm actually gonna do it just off this side over here. with accessory shelf. So all in all, you get kind of a sense here of what we've got going on in the teepee. Uh, we just set up the three cots for the night and honestly got everything on one side. So if I back out a little bit, you can see just how much room we have in this 12 man. And those are full size six foot cots uh, if you line them up like that I mean it, it really conserves the space and as you can see there's plenty of room full you know more than six feet in between the pole and the ends you know these are the low to the ground uh, hiking cots you stack six people in here comfortably and have plenty of room for gear the stove the accessory shelf things like that